today I'm going to help you to determine whether or not supplements are a right fit for you. Supplements are not the right fit for everybody, but you can ask yourself a series of questions and determine whether or not you are a candidate. And it starts right here in our yes or no with where are you at in terms of your program. Are you just starting out? Are you a beginner? Are you a real skinny guy who's never really lifted a weight before in your life? Because guess who knows somebody that is like that? I do, because that's exactly what I was. Matter of fact, this is my actual very first dumbbell that I ever used. And you can see it right there. That's my five pounder. This five pounder went on to allow me to start lifting a lot heavier weight, but I started with that. And a matter of fact, my brother told me growing up, you have to earn the right, earn the privilege to be able to start taking supplements. Because if you're just starting out with really light weights and you're not really that sophisticated with your training yet, supplementation is overkill. You'd be much better off figuring out the basics and understanding how to start building your body from the ground up, learning the proper movements, the right way to train, how to put it all together before you start you know, finessing it with supplements. Okay? And on the same other, the other end of the spectrum, with the same note, if you're a guy who's allowed yourself to get incredibly out of shape, 40% body fat or above because of your absolutely poor nutrition habits, trying to fix them with supplementation is not the right way uh, either. So you want to make sure that you're in that zone where you've dedicated yourself to getting in shape, you've been on that path now for a while, and you're looking to take it to the next level, then you would be a yes. But otherwise, if you're just starting in either one of those extremes, you're going to wind up over here as a no. Here's a scenario now that I know a lot of you can probably relate to, but I am actually living it and breathing it every single day right now, and that is high levels of stress. And it doesn't have to be bad stress. It could be good stress. In my case, it is good stress. We've had twin boys that came a little bit early. That's stressful, but we're trying to get them to grow and develop and sort of catch up to where they need to be. That's provided a lot of stress in my life. But guess what? I'm still going to train. I'm still going to try to eat as good as I can. But as I covered in my nutrition video the other day, where I showed you some fast ways that I can create lots of meals at once. I'll, I'll actually link that here if you haven't seen that already. Um, Stress is present in my life right now, and even more so, supplementation can help you to overcome stress because it can do two things. Number one, we know how nutrition can be a large component of providing your body with the fuel it needs to stay healthy even in the face of stress. And we also know that we don't necessarily have the time to prepare it in stressful times, so supplementation can be extremely uh, easy to prepare and allow you to be consistent with your nutrition. So for me, I've never been more reliant on my supplements than I am right now because I'm not always in a place where I can get good nutrition. The, the, the cafeteria at the hospital isn't the best place for me to get proper nutrition, but if I can mix up a shake, take it with me, and know that I'm going to have optimal nutrition at my fingertips whenever I need it, it becomes even that much more imperative. I'll say if you're in a high-stress job or find yourself in a high-stress situation and you don't want to sacrifice on your nutrition and you still want to be able to train, you're applying a lot of stress to your body, make sure at that point that you absolutely incorporate some form of supplementation to allow your body to recover that much faster, to allow you to bounce back even better. Okay, the next one is actually a personal question that I'm going to bring it down, bring it in here, and get man to man with you and ask you to be honest with yourself. Are you the type of person who takes your supplements and then finds yourself eating crappy foods because you figured you already did what you were supposed to do? If that's you, then supplements are not for you, okay? They're not for you. But there's a key point to be learned from all of this, and that is sometimes supplements will make that person much more accountable for the rest of their actions throughout the day. So you go and you spend all your hard-earned money on your supplements, okay? And you take them religiously. You take them regularly. You have that opportunity then to kind of screw off and do what you know you shouldn't be doing to be in line with what you're trying to achieve with your physique. You become much more aware, knowing how much money you spent on your supplements, knowing the hard work that you spent in the gym and the time and the effort that you put into the gym to do what you knew you were supposed to do, you become less likely to kind of fall off the beaten path where you know you shouldn't. And that's where supplementation become incredibly, can become incredibly important and can make you accountable for all of your actions beyond the time when you're taking your supplements. Anybody can take a supplement. That's the easiest damn thing we can ever do. And that's why so many people love to take them because we all know how simple it is to mix something up and drink it. But it's what goes on in all the other hours and minutes surrounding the time that you take your supplements that counts. And if it makes you more accountable, then absolutely I think that they should be part of your plan, especially if you're that type of person. Okay, the next question you want to ask yourself is whether or not you're an athlete. 
And when I say athlete, I don't necessarily mean professional athlete. Matter of fact, we have a lot of guys that train here with this channel to look more athletic. But if you're an athlete, you better start taking your supplementation seriously because if you don't, I can tell you right now, you're going to be left behind. Having just come back from the winter meetings last month in Nashville, Tennessee, the major focus of the strength and conditioning coaches at the major league level is supplementation. Because let's face it, the game of baseball has undergone some serious changes in the last few years to eliminate drugs from the game. It was a large portion of how players sort of prepared themselves every year, but that's gone. That's out of the game now. We need to be able to, they need to be able to replace that with some real solid research, evidence-backed supplements to allow them to take their game to the next level. And those that aren't doing it are going to fall behind. And the same thing can be said here again for those that sort of want to take their, not just their performance, but their physique to the next level. Again, you've already dedicated, you're already on that path, you want to take it to the next level. Those are the guys that need to start looking into uh, the benefits of supplementation. Okay, last but not least, we're going to play a little true or false here. I'm going to ask you a question. I want you to answer which side you think. Do you think that you can get all your benefits of supplementation through food alone? That you don't need supplements to achieve the benefits of the things you're trying to supplement with? I'll give you a, a second here. Okay, I can end that now, the suspense, because the answer is a resounding false. And I'm going to give you two, just two examples of this. See, when people try to take a supplement, let's just say they're taking glucosamine, right, a joint formula, and they're taking glucosamine. They, people that would argue that they can get the glucosamine that they would get, say, in our athlete mechanics, where are you getting that from? Are you, eat, are you out there at a restaurant ordering surf and turf and telling them to hold the lobster meat and just give you the shell because it tastes so damn good? Where are you, what are you eating to get the glucosamine that you need to gain the benefits of the supplement? Now, does everybody have to take a joint formula? No, but if you're gonna tell me that you're gonna take a joint formula, and get, or you want the benefits of glucosamine from a joint formula, but you don't need the joint formula, you're kidding yourself. You're playing the, the I'm natural game, and it doesn't really add up. And the same thing can be said about creatine, one of the most well-researched supplements out there. There's no doubt that creatine has plenty of research behind it, backing its efficacy for anybody that trains. We have our creatine in our RX2 post-workout supplement, and I can ask you again, where are you getting your creatine from? And I hear it all the time, Jeff, you can get creatine from meat. Jeff, you can get creatine from tuna. Let's take tuna as a perfect example. Tuna has actually 4.5 grams of creatine per, guess, get ready, okay, 16 ounces of tuna. So that's a pound of tuna, okay? Four and a half grams of creatine is great. That's a good dosage for you. But you guess what? You know, if you know anything about creatine, that in order to gain the benefits here, you're going to have to take it daily. So that means you're going to have to take 16 ounces of tuna daily. That means that your budget is going to have to provide you with the opportunity to buy tuna at 16 ounces, which is one pound, at around $17 to $25 a pound, depending upon sushi grade or not, every single day. So when we start thinking about where your monthly bill is going to be, oh, I don't know, maybe 500 bucks to get your creatine. Does that make sense? Not to mention, you're going to probably wind up with mercury poisoning along the way. That doesn't sound like a real efficient way for you to get creatine. Does everybody need creatine? No. I'm not saying they all do. But don't come to me and say, Jeff, I want to get the benefits of creatine, and I'm going to be do uh, doing it through my regular diet and through the foods that I eat. It ain't going to happen. So guess what? Again, a big false. If you want the benefits of specific, uh, specific ingredients to get the ergogenic benefits, then you better start realizing that most likely you're going to have to supplement here too. If you're not looking for those benefits, then you don't necessarily need it. And as I said in the very beginning, if you're the type who's going to take your supplements and think that that's it, you're all set, all the hard work goes out, you think that supplements are a replacement for hard ass work, then guess what? If you do me a favor, don't take my supplements, at least because it's a slap in my face. I don't believe that supplements are the answer for everybody, but I think that the majority of the people that follow this channel and follow the advice that I give here are a little bit more serious about their training. And in those cases, and a lot of the examples I just gave you here, you might be fitting one of those, then supplements are something you should probably look into if you want to start taking your results to the next level. We have our supplements, guys. I'll stand behind them every single day, every time I do a video here. We've got them over at athletenrx.com. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, or at the very least, refreshingly honest, then please do me a favor, leave your comments and your thumbs up below. Let me know. Tell me what else it is that you want me to cover here on this channel, maybe regarding supplements, and I'll do my best to do that here in the coming weeks. All right, guys, I'll talk to you again real soon.